Let's take a look at how someone else describes her. Very sensitive, tough, and a champion for women welfare is how the late Lucy Kibaki has been described by former Vice President Mudia Wari. In an exclusive interview with KTN News, Wari says the late Mama Lucy had a very warm personality and was very devoted to both her husband, retired President Mwai Kibaki, and her family, as Duncan Khayemba now reports. According to former Vice President, who also served as Funula Member of Parliament, Modi Awori, the late Mama Lucy Mudoni Kibaki epitomized a true African woman as a homemaker who religiously guarded and protected her family at all costs. Her devotion to her husband, the President, I think that really touched me because um, you do not see that much affection in public among the public personalities. He says his interaction with the Kibakis began in 2002 during campaigns for the then opposition leader Mwai Kibaki, who later won the election becoming Kenya's third president. She has a very warm personality. You just imagine many groups of people from diverse uh, areas of Kenya descending on your home every other evening or afternoon. Uh, you need to be a person really with a warm personality to accept this. And this is what was happening in 2002. On the flip side, he admits Mama Lucy was a no-nonsense person when it came to matters of humanity. She's a very sensitive person who, whenever things were not working as they ought to, uh, this touched her very much. Particularly when they were deaths, uh, you know, big deaths. Awori vividly remembers how tough the late Mama Lucy was, citing an incident in 2002 as retired President Mwai Kibaki went to County Hall to present his nomination papers before the then Electoral Commission of Kenya, ECK. We were getting into a lift, and you know there were many people, and she was the man. And, you know, people tried, you know, to uh, push around. And she said, listen, I am Mrs. Kibaki, and you must know that I am going to be the wife of the next president. And, you know, people, they had not noticed or realized her. So she, you know, and, and she talked in a, a very gentle way. And, you know, people... Real, came to realize that here is somebody, you know, so uh, as it so happens, you know, really almost all of them moved and I think we, we remained about three or four. On a lighter note, Uncle Moody still remembers that moment when he made reference to Mama Lucy as the second lady at a New Year's party. I tried to explain that this is the time we're having a second first lady. But then I say, this is the time we are having a second lady, Mrs. Uh, and, you know, a slip of the tongue. And of course, you know, everybody, you know, was, uh, uh, you know, they, they buzzed. And uh, of course, at the, for, for a while, Mama Lucy, you know, uh, second, said what? Uh, but it passed. Uh, it, it, it passed and, you know, so I hadn't even realized that really I had until, I think it's Carissa Maitha was close there, I said, first lady. So I said, of course, that's what I said, the first lady. Uh, but, you know, things moved a bit, you know, people started making comments at the time, even during and even afterwards. But to Mama Lucy, the next day, I was back at State House. Uh, she never even touched, 
even mentioned it at all. And, and, and from there onwards, it's as if it never happened. In general, he says the late Mama Lucy Kibaki was a very private person, but a fighter for women welfare. Devoted, sensitive and tough is how former first lady, the late Mama Lucy Kibaki, has been described, whom Kenyans will definitely remember for her role during President Kibaki's tenure as the president of Kenya. Duncan Haimba, KTN News.